trying to show and explain and demonstrate the love that my grandparents have for one another. They've been married since 1946, you know, and they've been tight for all those years, and it's just, they're great role models for, for all couples out there to, to stay married that long and actually be happy. Wonderful, wonderful demonstration of love. And so I'm hoping to demonstrate that, that passion for each other in this painting. That's why I have my grandmother's hand on my grandpa's shoulder, because she's always had his back. And my grandpa has always been more concerned with her than he is for himself. He, one of the most selfless people I've ever seen. Just, just, they're just so in love, and hopefully I'm showing that love in this dual portrait. So in this portrait, portrait of my grandparents, I've included a house in the background. And the idea to put this house came from looking at photos I'd taken when I was in the Chicago Museum, uh, Museum of Art. Uh, this was back in 2010. And I got to see Grant Wood's classic, American Gothic. And uh, the placement of that farmhouse in that painting, I think it really added some kind of uh, narrative to that portrait. It wasn't just about, you know, uh, an old couple married on the farm. I mean, actually, would you be able, I'm not even sure if you could even tell they were in a farm view for that house in. Maybe you could based on the clothing, but I think that house kind of marked the time period. Well, I'm putting this house into my dual portrait to kind of mark the, um, the placement of where they live for so many years in retirement. They lived in uh, the small town called Bernie in Northern California. It's a small town, about three or four thousand people. It's up in the mountains, and uh, it's where I spent a lot of my summers as a kid with my brother. I have a lot of great memories of playing wiffle ball out in the front yard with my brother and uh, helping Grandma out in the garden, going fishing with Grandpa. So not only not only am I just trying to fill up some negative space in the painting, which is true. I mean, there wasn't a lot of negative space. I wanted to put something there, but I'm also just trying to add a little bit to the story.
something amazing. And to me, my grandparents being married since 1946, that's amazing in this day and age, really. Uh, we should all hope to be married and in love and happy for that long. So that's what I've chosen for my 50th painting. And uh, that's why I'm calling it Forever Bellis. Um, Grandma and Grandpa Bellis, they will always be uh, together and in love. And it's just, it's just a, I'm, I'm hoping that this is a demonstration of their, their love and trust for one another. painting. I'll be showing you all the paintings I've done up to this point. From January 1st, 2005 to here in the summer of 2014. And I, when I line them all up, it's, it's pretty cool to see that I have indeed improved and that's all, that's all I can ask for is have I improved. You know, I do this, I do the painting because it's relaxing, it's exciting, it's one of the greatest feelings in the world, I have to say, to get a fresh light canvas on your easel and it's like you're about to create a, a whole world that doesn't exist. Right now it's just a figment of your imagination. But then all of a sudden with a few strokes, you start creating this world and it's so exciting and it's just very rewarding. So I'm going to show you um, in the next couple episodes how my art has progressed for the last nine and a half years and uh, you'll see how crude and naive my approaches were early on to what I have now. Now I'm not delusional here, there's still a lot of uh, inexperience in these paintings. You know, I can see it just staring at them long enough. I love this portrait I did, but I already see some imperfections that I need to learn and improve upon. But uh, overall, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome to see that I have learned so much going on. And, and it's, it's, it's in all avenues too. I'm much more confident as a portrait painter. I feel better, about, I feel really good about being a still life painter now. And um, even my landscapes have improved a little bit. I would say probably of all the genres though, my biggest weakness is actually landscape. Uh, I haven't spent that much time on it like I used to. But um, I feel very confident being a still life painter. So, but right now I'm working on the portrait skills and. I'll probably go back to uh, some landscapes eventually, but, you know, it's, I guess like anything else, if you, if you don't keep doing something, you lose those abilities, and I just haven't spent a, much, a lot of time, I haven't spent much time on uh, landscapes, so I don't feel real confident. It kind of has shown up, I think, in this current portrait painting. I wasn't real happy with the trees. They, I was going for a different kind of look, and they just, I don't think they have the right form, but same time, I was keeping it kind of loose because that's not that's not the primary element in, in this painting. It's, it's the people who, who matter. So that's okay, but yeah, I'll probably
probably have to go back to the portrait. <laughs>